Hi, I'm Irene Wong. I'm a ballroom dancer for 14 years. I'm also a co-owner of a ballroom shop called Dancewear Works. Um, today, I'm going to talk about tanning. So some of you may heard uh, the judge talked about actually tanning mostly is necessary, but it must not have a dirty tan. So here what one of the judge said. But I do think what disturbs the picture is when you have a bad tan, you know, like when you look dirty. That is sometimes a little bit hard to see through. Now you understand it's important to have tanning to make us look good and feel good. So how we can not have a dirty tan also. So I'm going to share my own experience, my own journey. Uh, also, I have interviewed many uh, professional dancers and they gave me some of what product they use. I'm going to share that as well. So you're going to see all the products that I share will be listed and have links in the detail below. You can go in there and uh, check it out and order from there. So let me start with my own experience. So I used to go to spray tan uh, because I'm busy. So I just go schedule spray tan uh, before the competitions. And one of the things I didn't like what I had the spray tan uh, was the smell. It really bothered me of the stinky smell. And also the, the when they fade, um, the skin feel like a little bit quacking. So I really didn't like that, um, but I didn't know I have other choice until I found the new skin uh, uh, instant growth tanning lotions. So that's what I'm using right now. Uh, the new skin uh, sunrise instant growth is work like a normal sun tan. So it doesn't have very yucky smell and it's very easy to apply. It tend almost like exactly the like the sun so you started the first layer it just have a little bit glow a tanning the more layer you apply uh the more glowing and tanning uh you have so normally what i do is that i will apply it at least a one week beforehand just like you go tanning uh to the sun bath you one day and you're gonna do two days three days then your 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 tanning is a cumulative result so I like that a lot because sun is bad for your skin. So I really don't want to go to have the actual sun that uh, you will like on my body. And also it's a uh, tan with a little bit of glow. So I like it to tan it very natural, you know, and uh, it fades just like a normal uh, sun tan. So it's, you know, you can just take shower and then it's just like fading like normal sun tan. And that's what I really like about it. It's super natural. Um, so uh, that's what I use. Um, one of the tips I also want to say, you know, when we do tanning, so you want to take a shower, um, you know, uh, uh, scrub a little bit before your tanning. So I myself use the New Skin Liquid Body Ultra. So it get out of the dead skin. So when you apply the tanning lotion, it will last longer. Next, I want to share the professional dancers, what they use. So I interview a lot of, especially the Latin dancers and the rhythm dancers. So they really use a very, very dark tanning. Most of them right now is use the uh, Every Joe makeup uh, tanning. So they are like a makeup. We already heard the judges talked about never have a dirty tan. So this mitt you know, uh, is really lifesaver. So it helps us apply all the tanning evenly, especially the makeup. So the lotion is better, but the makeup is really wanted to apply it uh, because so dark evenly. Sometimes you may want to use other people to help you apply the makeup because uh, it's harder to make it even and you don't want it to be, um, have a dirty tan. So uh, one thing I also noticed uh, why I didn't like the makeup one is because uh, they're easily to be touched uh, some other people or your clothes and then, you know, get the, the, the tan on your dress easily. So I asked the professional and say, hey, how you can avoid that? You know, I talked to uh, Andrea Javi, she's doing the, the lifts and touching the body a lot. So what her recommendation is that after you apply the 
uh, the tanning. So every every Joe tanning uh, lotion, she used number three and number five. Um, pretty much the same same dark, very dark color. One is with shimmy, one is without. Um, and then you they most of the the competitive dancer after uh, the every Joe uh, makeup uh, tanning. They also apply a layer of shimmers. So many people use uh, Aero Tan or Lena Milano, the shimmer powder. So you apply another coat of powder on it. So, you know, uh, once you get the coat of powder on, and um, Angie, I recommend to have hairspray. So a light coat of hairspray will help, you know, keep the tanning and shimmer in place. So that's what the professional do. Um, and I think it's too much for me. So that's not I choose to do. So there's also other uh, tanning product uh, that other people use. Uh, Bally Boy's Mousse, okay? And also the Maxwell Body Cosmetic for Dance. And then the Star Body uh, Tanning Spray. So all of these are, you know, other uh, tanning lotions that available and most uh, the, uh, suitable for dancer, which is much darker tan than the normal um, tanning. So I hope these all tanning product information is helpful for you. And uh, for faster drying, another tip, you can use hairspray as well to dry all the, the especially the makeup, the shimmer as well. So I hope you find this useful and uh, if you like what I share, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so when I have a new video comes out, you'll be notified. Keep on dancing!